The most important first step is to ensure that when an issue comes in the door, it's escalated appropriately. The, the biggest failing that we see is that somebody sits on information about a data breach for a while, and of course that, uh, that allows the attacker either to remain in the system or to take that data and sell it on, on the uh, dark web without any uh, intervention from the company. So very, very important to escalate an issue up just as soon as it comes in the door and to have the processes in place so that everybody knows how to escalate an event. Is there a hotline? Do they know the number to call? so that they can get to the right people. It's very important that the legal department be embedded from the start. There are legal protections that we want to uh, put in place right from the beginning. For example, if we hire a forensic investigator, we're going to want to do that through counsel to try to preserve any privilege that we can around the results of the investigation. We're also going to want to focus on issues like whether a legal hold should be put in place and whether it's time to notify the cyber insurer if there is one about an issue. When the forensic investigator is, uh, is, is doing its work, the lawyers are going to want to focus the investigator on the information that the lawyers need in order to do the legal analysis. Um, there are laws around the world that require certain actions to occur once uh, you've been hit with a cyber incident. So it's very important to understand what those rules are in advance and understand what data you will need from the forensic investigator in order to do a proper legal analysis. When we're dealing with a data breach, it's very important not to underestimate uh, both traditional media and social media. Often we hear from bloggers about an event before we actually know about it ourselves in our own systems. So we really need to pay attention to what's happening externally. Very often we hear from external parties that there's been an attacker in our system. So for example, we hear, hear frequently from law enforcement, we hear from bloggers that, uh, that they are aware that there's, there's been an attack uh, to our systems. And we also hear from our own customers when they're calling the, the, our call center to let us know that there's some fraudulent activity associated with their credit cards or with their data that they've entrusted to us. Most importantly, be prepared. It's very important to have an incident response plan in place, to do tabletop exercises to prepare for these events so that everybody who has a role in responding to a cyber incident knows that they need to come to the table, they need to come to the war room when it's time for an actual event. So preparation is key, and that means thinking about these issues in advance and understanding that this is a, a significant risk issue for the company.